Hi guys, we're back again to do another Bark Box unboxing. It is really late, I know, it's already March. This is our February Bark Box. We have our March Bark Box over there, but I'm gonna do this one because it's been an incredibly long time since Mia had um, her last Bark Box toy. It was like in January. I had this box sitting there for the longest time. But if you guys don't know what BarkBox is, it's a monthly subscription service for your dogs. Mia, come up here. Come up here. Um, where you get two, uh, I know, Mia, I know, it's going to come. Um, you get two treats, two toys, and one chew. Um, we are part of the extra toy club, so we do get an extra toy in there. Sometimes they forget our toys, so we have to reach out to them, but most of the time... We will get our three toys. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into it because as you can tell, Mia's impatient. She wants to open it. All right. I'm not sure what this uh, February's month was, but, ooh. Okay. It does look like it's like candy themed. So it says, I'm Slobbering's Candy Shop. So that's what that looks like there. Come up here, Mia. I know. What's that? It says, welcome to the most wagnificent, scrumdly, uh, I can't even say that, scrumdly yumptious place in the whole sniffing oh. world. Um, I am Slobberin's Candy Shop. We've got the tummy tickling treats and dandy dog toys to spoil your sweet pup absolutely run. Dive right in and have a blast. After all, you're a pup in a candy store. And then this is what I see inside. So, oh, whoa, scratch and sniff. Okay, it says, I am slobbering. It's always dream up, dreaming up fanciful new flavors to delight the good boys and girls who come to his candy shop. Scratch these gumballs to get a whiff of some of your dog's favorite flavors. Okay, is it really? Because this one says dog butt. I don't really want to smell dog butt. But there's sneakers, fresh underwear, fetch stick, garbage, and neighbor's lawn. I'm going to try fresh underwear and see what that smells like because the other ones are a little iffy. <laughs> so it, ooh, I can smell the neighbor's lawn already and I didn't even sniff it yet. I'm gonna scratch fresh underwear. Okay, okay, yeah, that, that smells like laundry all right. Um, dog butt, I don't know if I wanna try it. Maybe I'll have my fiance try it and tell me what he thinks. Let's try sneakers. Mm, that doesn't smell very good. Um, I'll try neighbor's lawn. Yeah, that smells like grass. Okay, so I'm going to move on because I don't feel like smelling garbage or a fetch stick or a dog's butt. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but, um, God, that sneaker smell, it really gets in your nose. Um, this page just shows you all the treats, or not the treats, the toys that you could get. There. Um, and then the back kind of just has like warning information and stuff, but I'm not going to get into that. So I'm going to get into this box. You can see here, it has like really cute packaging. I always love their stuff when it's like cute themed, but like January's theme box was not cute. So uh, yeah. How oh, cute. Look at this. Mia's favorite toys are either ball toys or tug of war toys. So, um, I feel like she, she's loving it, right? So, this is, okay, come, I know, I know, hold on, baby girl, here. So, this is a little lollipop, it does squeak, and it has a little rope toy. It says, Wally the Lolly is the name. Okay, hold on, Mia, hold on, baby. It says, a disc squeaker and a t-shirt rope. Let me read this, wait, come up here, wait. Don't growl at me. <laughs> Um, it says, behind the squeakers, there's a big disc squeaker inside this tasty plush toy. Trying to take candy from a baby, grab the soft and stretchy t-shirt rope for tug-of-war. So like I said, Mia loves to play tug-of-war. So this would be a great toy because, um, I mean, like I was, this is one of our, her older bark box toys. And I love anything that has a rope in it because she always brings me toys to play tug-of-war with. So as you can see, this is what she's doing now. But um, I think this is going to be a, a real hit. So, and I think it's so cute too. Look at the little face. Look at that. I know. Okay, here, here. You can have it, okay? All 
right, next. Uh, so we get the a uh, bunch of these. So you guys already know if you've seen my past videos. It's always the Edessa's Crunchy 7-inch Premium Buffalo Chew. I'm pretty sure we got like 10 of these already. Um, I did message them recently because I think the reason why we get this, these a lot is because um, I put in a preference that I didn't want any more animal byproducts. Like, um, if you've seen an older video I posted, um, we got some type of like pig ear or something where it had little maggots growing on it and I got really grossed out and so I messaged them t telling them that I didn't want any um, like animal products like that because I was afraid of that. Um, so we've been getting this every single time but I did tell them that, you know, oh, okay, she's in her bed now. <laughs> um, I've been telling, I told them that I didn't want that preference if they could please take it off because I want a variety of chews. Um, I've seen a lot of people posting like different other chews, like other chews that they've been getting. And we just received the same one over and over and over. So it's pretty boring. Um, and I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of seeing these guys. I mean, it's kind of like a really, like a softer bully stick. Um, can I break it? No, I can't really break it. I mean, I could try. Oh, okay, yeah, I broke it. But yeah, it's like kind of like a bully stick, but softer. Um, and I do give these to her sometimes, but I kind of forget, so. I don't know, I'm just gonna leave that, that there, because yeah. <gasps> these bags are so cute. Okay, if you guys have watched my other videos, I do talk about how I love their packaging and just like the way they um, market their stuff is really cute, when the theme is cute, I gotta say that. But look at this, how cute is this bag? Okay, so the first bag of treats we have is the I Am Slobbering's Bacon Berry Droolies Soft Bake Blueberry and Bacon Dog Treats. Blueberry sounds delicious, okay? So in, a, in an older box, we did get a blueberry muffin type treat. It was a soft treat. So it sounds uh, very similar. And that blueberry treat smelled delicious, guys. Um, I was tempted to try it. I don't know if I had my fiance try it or not because he smelled it and he said it smelled really good as well. So Mia is so cute right now. She is down here by my legs just like peeking up like from under the table looking at me like this. <laughs> come up here Mia. Come here. I know. Come here. Do you want a treat? Yeah? Do you want a treat? She knows I had a treat so she was waiting at my foot. But I'm going to pull one of these guys out. Ooh, these do smell really good. So, that's what they look like. And, um, I think there's, yeah, they say it's, it's not that soft. It's soft, but not as soft as the other blueberry treats that we had. Um, I'm going to give this to her here. See if she eats it. You guys know Mia. She's a very picky eater. She refuses to eat any crunchy or hard treats unless I break it down. So if the treat's like this big and it's like a hard treat, she won't eat it. I have to like break it in half and give it to her this big for her to eat it because she's that picky. But, oh, she finished it. Good job, Mia. Good girl. Okay, sit. Sit. Oh, good girl. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Stay. Hey, shake. Touch. Speak. <coughs> Okay, so moving on, but this smells really good, guys. Oh, and it says it's wheat-free, soy-free, and corn-free. Um, says bark bok treats are always made in the USA, and our meat is always raised and sourced in the USA, too. All of our natural bacon berry droolies are made with irresistible bacon and super nutritious uh, blueberries for a healthy and scrumptious soft and chewy snack. Um, it's, a real, it's as yummy as real candy without the toothache. So, uh, there's that. Um, I really enjoyed this. I think the packaging is adorable and it smells delicious. So, um, thumbs up for that one. Moving on. Okay. So, like I said earlier, uh, we are part of the Extra Toy Club, but um, we didn't get our third toy. So, I'm going to have to message them. I don't know if they'll still honor it because this is a February box. Um, but we're 
opening it in March. <laughs> so the end of March now. Um, but I'm gonna message them and see what they say because technically we are missing our third toy. So yeah, okay, moving on. Um, this is our second toy. It's the bubblegum bonus toy inside. <gasps> How cool. Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. So in my last video, I did mention that BarkBox tends to do like extra bonus toys in some of their toys. So if your dog is a like a super chewer that they, they label, um, if they break into their toys um, easily, there's always a second toy inside. So this one says bonus toy inside. So that means if Mia ever rips into this toy, which sadly she doesn't rip any of her toys really. Um, so she still has all her bark box toys intact. But if she ever does, there's another themed toy in here. So I'm gonna assume that maybe it's the gum because this is a gum wrapper. So there's what that looks like on the back. And then that's the front. Um, I'm going to assume that because this is a gum, gum wrapper that the inside is gum, but let's see. So it's bonus toy inside. Keep chewing for an extra something special. Crunch the crackling crinkle wrapper, wrapper and take a big bite of the squeaky tube squeaker to satisfy your sweet tooth. Um, so yeah, this is our second toy. I'm going to give this to Mia. But we are missing our third toy again. Like I said, I feel like this maybe happens almost 50% of the time. Like it's been happening more often than not that they forgot our toy. Um, so yeah, I'll just have to message them sadly because I want you guys to see like all three toys that we did receive. But because this happens like basically every other month. Um, yeah you miss out on her third toy. So we always end up getting a third toy, but by the time they give it to us, they run out of the themed boxes. So then they just give, ow, she bit me. Okay. Um, um, but they, they give us like a third toy, but it's never with the theme. It's just whatever like they have in stock for their supply. So it's just like some random toy, which kind of sucks because, because if I do, she's so cute. She's like smiling. <laughs> um, if if the theme is cute like this theme here which i really love this theme um like they they don't replace that theme's toy it's just like a random toy so that kind of sucks but moving on this one is ham dandy's soft and chewy pork dog treats how cute is this guys how cute so this one is wheat free soy free corn free and grain free this one is the same, but not grain free. So this one is, so if that's something that you look for with your dog's foods, um, keep that in mind. I, when I do buy Mia's food, I do try to look for grain free food as well, just because, I mean, dogs don't really, naturally, they don't eat grain. So, you know, they don't really need it. But, ooh, interesting. I'm, enjoying the way they look so it's like a cylinder type thing but it's like the shape of like a flower if i don't know if you'll be able to see that but it has one two three it's like kind of like in between a flower and a star you know it has like five points um but it's this long and it's rigid because of the the little loops of the flowers the petals all right mia um uh, what do you want to do spin spin so cute i am gonna rip off some of these and put this in my memory planner because i am a planner um uh, but yeah this is so cute and then this is the back this is the candy shop that's cute too uh, i'm totally gonna use this for something you know scrapbookers or memory planners keep these these are so cute all right 
um, I guess that's it. So thanks so much for watching, even though these videos are extremely late and I am super slow. But Mia Nia says thank you and time to say bye. Right? Don't you say bye? Time to say bye. Yeah, do you want to play? Do you want to play? Yeah. Yeah. All right, and if you guys like seeing uh, pictures and videos of Mia, check out her Instagram. I have that probably linked in the description below, but that's where I tend to um, post like Instagram stories and stuff like that. If you have any questions, you can always DM me on Instagram. Um, a lot of people actually ask, uh, go to the Instagram and DM me if they have questions about her breed or whatever, I don't know, training videos and stuff like that. But yeah. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye!